What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Dad Needs to Talk. I'm your host, Robert, and today I am joined by my friend Bo, aka Otaku in training. What's up, Bo? <laughs> What's up, Rob? Not much. How, how, how are you doing today, man? Doing pretty good. Uh, I actually spent it when, when I wasn't uh, returning a lost purse that my wife found. I was actually focusing on my my latest video. I've learned a lot of new things, and I'm putting all my effort into this next video. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're, we're, we'll touch on all of that stuff um, and, and lots more. Um, but as as I always say. Uh, if this is your first time here, then welcome. But if you're a returning listener or watcher, then welcome back. You know, here at Dandy's to Talk, it's all about fatherhood, manga, anime and TV, and sometimes video games. <laughs> and so today, <laughs> today and th- this week, I had a uh, had a very uh, interesting conundrum, a, a very important lesson in. Robert uh, needs to mark stuff on his calendar (laughs) because I had got my stuff mixed up to where somebody, somebody that I'm going to have on hopefully on the podcast next week, I thought was today. And yeah, then it was like, Oh crap. I don't have anything (laughs) planned for, for today. Granted, Everybody, anybody that's been listening to my stuff for a while, y'all know I can, I'll figure it out, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but I was, I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm feeling a little, a, a little, uh, adventurous this week. So I put the call out on Twitter. I was like, Hey, if anybody wants to, anybody free wants to come and join and, and the homie, uh, pull through and here we are. Yeah, so, I was like, "This is my time." <laughs> <laughs> the 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 call of the podcast. Yeah. So, but uh, uh, this would be my first time too. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We'll 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 get we'll get you uh we'll we'll ease you in, um as as my son is opening the door. <laughs> Vash, what do you want? Yes, something. Hmm. What are you doing? I'm podcasting. That's podcasting. <laughs> yes, podcasting. <laughs> Since you're here, can you wave and say hi? Yeah. Okay. Say hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Goofy, go play, okay? Okay. I'll be done in a little bit, okay? Okay. And close my door. And there we have it. It, 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 it wouldn't be a dad needs to talk episode if uh, if Vash didn't uh, make an appearance, and that that might be record time in under three minutes. Uh, my my daughter might be in here any second, and I, I, she'll be on my lap, and she won't be leaving. <laughs> oh man, but uh, but yeah, so so yeah, so for 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 today. We're gonna be have, have have a pretty laid back episode, you know. I'm, I'm gonna talk talk with Bo about a little bit about you know what he got going on, and we both uh, coincidentally happened to had uh, watched a couple of shows recently yeah. that just perfect timing. This was not planned, <laughs> but uh, but we we will touch on both the uh, uh, Devil is a part timer. As well as a classroom of the elite, mm-hmm. um, just because both of those um, anime are coming back in the summer season, um, I, th- I think both next week or, or, oh, or, yeah. or very soon. I, I believe it's it's at least the beginning of July. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I, I know both of those series have been uh, highly talked about within the anime community and stuff for for years at this point, um, and so it, it's it's just kind of for me. Um, uh, with with classroom of the elite in particular, it's just kind of funny just thinking about how long people have been waiting for that because it's been five years 
Yes, I just, I just saw that, and I was like, I, I I just heard about it like when the manga was dropping. I thought it was just it barely was coming out. So yeah, cause uh, cause that that's that's uh, uh that's definitely a series that I might have maybe heard and passing or whatever, but I for sure didn't yeah. hear about it until I started podcasting and stuff last year, and people that I listened to um were talking about them watching it. And so, but um, I, I was picking on somebody the other day. I was like, I was like, y'all have been waiting so long for the show. I said, I done had a whole child who's about to start school in a couple months. <laughs> cause, uh, cause I think, cause oh. it was, uh, I, th- I think that season ended like this time, like summertime, spring or summer of yeah. uh, 2017. And, and Vash was born November of 2017. So, uh. It's like, yeah, in the time y'all been waiting, a whole person then grew up <laughs> grew. and <laughs> yeah, oh shoot. But now, let's see what, yeah, you got all those animes coming back. So. Yes, uh, but but before we dive too deep into that stuff, uh, yeah. uh, how how has your your day, your week, how how has that stuff been going for you, man? Oh shoot! I don't know about you. I, I know you're a bit a little bit north from me, but how's the heat been for you? Because I, I, Sunday I got in my car after work and it was like, my God, it's hot! And I looked at the little temperature gauge is 107. <laughs> I was, yeah. I'm, I'm half expecting the tires to melt. Actually, yeah. my, my tires are pretty bald, which I, I should get those changed <laughs> out pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I have definitely uh, been feeling the heat, um, especially you know most of y'all know on. Um, especially on Saturdays, cause uh, you know my daughter's doing track, so I, I am out there in, in, oh. the, in the elements. <laughs> I, I, I saw that in your last one that you were out there for what was it eight hours? Yeah. Um, Bless that, you. <laughs> yes, um, but that 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 was the uh, that was the first. Yeah, yeah. That that was the first meet a few weeks ago. So, uh, so, uh, we, we quickly learned our lesson because that, that was the first yeah. time that we have had to be there for that long. Um, cause mm-hmm. like, like I mentioned before, the, the events that she's done in past years, they're usually done by like 1 PM. So we used, we used to be there from like eight to one. Yeah. Well, she Surprise. started, doing, yeah, she started doing <laughs> the mile. And when she, and when she told us, when she was like, yeah, so the mile is like second to last event. And that first meet, she didn't run until like 4 p.m. Mm. So, uh, but this weekend we lucked out and I don't know if it was just how they had things structured or if it was like a mm-hmm. smaller amount of kids. I don't know, but the event went way quicker. So we were done. I think I think we were done by like one or so. So we, yeah. we shaved off a few hours. Um so uh so yeah so yeah that that was yeah <laughs> definitely uh eventful uh which which i guess since, since i'm talking about i'll just mention real quick um you know with 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 my kids and stuff with the sports this weekend everybody everybody did pretty good uh my my daughter speaking of her with the track stuff uh she i think i think she she finally found her groove this weekend because she came out uh in first place in both the 800 meter and the mile um and and she got a and she hit a, a personal record in the mile this week as well so not only you know did she win but she is making pro- progress and she's getting a f- seems like she, seems like she's getting faster each week um yeah. so uh so that, that that was very awesome to see uh we had That's a awesome. uh, <laughs> so we had a situation during uh so like uh I was and we were in the little tent area uh between events and stuff and without warning crazy gust of wind came through and took away like three tents. Yeah. Yeah. That'll, yeah, the wind will do that. Yeah, so uh so you know like so like 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 the wind came and it kind of like shook the tents a little bit so we were like okay and then we noticed like they were like bending and tilting. So we started like oh. holding on to them. And then like uh, one tent, there was like a couple of, uh, uh, in front of the one I was standing under, like took yeah. off into the sky. 
And then another one off to the left of us also took off to the sky. Very scary moment because where we yeah. were at was right near a power uh, oh. transformer thing. So we're like looking up and like, please don't hit it. Please don't hit it. Luckily, it didn't. And yeah. fortunately, um, both of the tents landed in like like literally one of the tents landed in an empty parking spot between two cars. Yeah, and then the other one let it in like an empty spot, uh, you know, off to the side. But that was scary because people were under those tents, so kids yeah. screaming and ah, running <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> and it was like, okay, did did not expect uh, Mother Nature to like yeah. surprise. I thought so, you were gonna tell me it was gonna start. It was raining because I hadn't seen rain in no a month. No, uh, I wish. Fourth of July coming too. <laughs> I wish, so. uh, but uh, but yeah, but but, uh, but otherwise, yeah, she she did good in that. And then my mm-hmm. son, he uh, uh, he they his team they did really well. My oldest son in basketball, they did really well, but yeah. they 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 came up just short. They they lost in the championship uh, of the tournament they were in, and so they uh. got they got second place. So. You know, uh, it was like it was like, hey y'all, y'all went undefeated the whole thing, but then lost in the in the championship thing. So, but uh, but my son second place though. Yeah, my 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 son got to bring home this freaking humongous trophy that yeah. they uh, cause cause uh, cause the coach will kind of you know when they do the tournaments and stuff, he'll kind of let them uh, bring home. Or he'll he'll let one of the kids like hey like hey okay you play super good, you know he'll mm-hmm. let them uh bring home the trophy or whatever but uh, but of course you know what wasn't wasn't smiles and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't because I don't know. You see? Uh, yeah, so he, is that about the size of a basketball like an actual one? Yeah, yeah, uh, that, yeah. That's actually like an actual basketball on top of the trophy. Um, that he's holding, but, uh, but yeah, but, but yeah, but they, they, they did, like I said, they, they did pretty good overall with that. Um, I wish I should have put this up on the thing, whatever, but, um, but anywho, but, uh, but yeah, but aside from that, uh, for me, uh, yeah, this week is, it's really just for me, just being a lot of preparation because I, Everybody knows I most of my weeks are busy, anyways. As yeah, as 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 I, as I know, you know, you know as well, like because you're you're also a fellow dad and stuff. So just balancing is difficult. Yes, just <laughs> just being an adult. Period. Being a parent on top of that is hey, you're mm-hmm. just gonna have a busy week in general. Um, and husband. Yes, and 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 also being a spouse as well. So it's like it's like oh my yeah. gosh, but. uh but we're kind of we're getting ready to ramp up, uh, and probably having to do some travel, slight light traveling, uh, yeah. in the coming weeks because um, the next couple of weeks going forward it's going to be regionals and then state um, oh. competition. So we kind of like you know dotting eyes, crossing T's, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Uh, pre-booking hotels and and all this stuff um so yeah so and and i'm kind of also like you know i I have my next couple of weeks podcast wise kind of planned out or whatever um but probably by the time we get to like the middle of july um it'll either just be like pre-recorded stuff going up or nothing (laughs) yeah uh because because i'm also having to like uh, uh, look at my uh, what little PTO I have very closely, cause I'm like, depending on how some of this stuff goes, we might have to be gone, um, and and stuff. So, cause uh, cause uh, cause this year for the first time, you know, she's doing the uh, the AAU track, which is basically the Junior Olympics, and so. Oh. Yeah, so she's doing the regionals for that this weekend, and then she's doing the regular yeah. regionals that she's always done next weekend. Yeah, and then uh, somewhere towards like the end of the end of July, um, if if she does well, 
we'll be going um, close to your neck of the woods uh, for state. And and then, because I think, I always get a mix. I'm trying to think, is it in Corpus Christi or... Yeah, that's my old hometown. It's, huh? it's 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 somewhere down in that area. I always forget nah. like specifically where it is. Uh, but but that but <laughs> we found out today that for the Junior Olympic stuff, there is no state. It is just regionals and then nationals. So oh, so yes. So we were thinking, like, okay, you know, we'll be somewhere within Texas still. No, my my wife found out like like a little bit before we started doing this. Basically, if she makes it out of regionals for that, uh, the next event is in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, it was a little bit far, a little bit further away. <laughs> yes, so it's like, oh my gosh, that is a total, you know. But it, it, that's just one of those like, we'll cross that bridge <laughs> when and if we get to it. But it's just like, oh my gosh, just knowing that that's a possibility, uh-huh. you know. So, but um, but anywho, that that that's kind of what what's been going on for me. It's just uh, pre pre planning for these coming weeks and stuff, and uh, just just trying to get um things in order. Um, just because things things are gonna ramp up very quickly. <laughs> oh yeah, I've had to start scheduling my stuff. Uh... Yeah, I I get kind of lazy if if it's not if it's not on a to do list. I'm like, okay, I got time. I'm just kick back. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. And uh, out out of curiosity, uh, with well, I know for sure with with your youngest kids, they're not in school, but your oldest, um, is is she in? Oh, school uh, kinder kindergarten. She's uh, she's had some learning difficulties, but she'll be. Uh, uh, yeah, I asked her. I asked for them to kind of hold her back because even when I was younger, I had a hard time uh, with kindergarten. So I, I wish my parents would have held me back. I think I would have yeah. done a lot better going forward. So we did that, and I, I know she'll. She's actually coming along pretty fast now. So yeah, <laughs> it's like that last that last month of school. All of a sudden, everything she was struggling with, she now knows how to do and say and like. Okay, where did this come from? Yes, but but a lot a lot of parents I talk to they say when a when a child develops it'll be out of nowhere and you're like who am I talking to? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I I definitely know that man because uh because so my so my my oldest boy, um we kind of went through a similar thing when he was around that age as well, um so so he got held back as well. Um, which is how we ended up with him and the, and my twins all in the yeah. same grade, and oh, so so people sometimes were like, wait, are they triplets? Like, no, he's a year older. Yeah. You know, they're they're just all in the same grade and stuff. So uh, yeah, but uh, but yeah, but yeah, but, but yeah, okay. I, I like I said, I, I was just curious about that. Uh, so, okay, so she'll be going to kindergarten, or she she'll be in kindergarten. Go, go, yeah, she'll be in kindergarten. In, in kindergarten. So um, and. Yeah, and that should be in pre-K. Oh my god, I I, I am. I I don't know. You know, it's just I'll just you know, we'll we'll just see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my youngest right now is um, in daycare. They're telling her, "Hey, can we need her to to listen to us and not climb on every <laughs> single thing and jump off of it?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, like they're basically saying it's like every during my shift I'm basically just doing this. <laughs> yes, 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 exactly. So, all right. So, uh, so let let let's touch on a little bit of uh of your channel and and some of the stuff you do with with otaku and training. So, so you've been doing your channel. I think has it been a year or no? I think in October it'll be about a year. I mean, I think I've been spending I've been spending all this time just trying to figure out what exactly I want to do. Yeah, and uh, manga hall I've been coming back to over and over because that one it's really exciting just to go out there and buy new volumes, even though you haven't read half the stuff you have. <laughs> yeah, but 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 going in and talking about it, like look look at this brand new volume. This is what it's about, and that that that's what kind of got me into manga. I mean, I think 
I started off with anime in high school. I mean, I, I remember Gundam Wing, uh, Dragon Ball Z, and then when it came to the the movies like Vampire Hunter D and Ninja Scroll, yeah, that was I was like that was those two things were my first things that I watched. I think Blood, the Last Vampire as well, mm-hmm. and I, I really loved it. I was like, man, this is brutal, but it's really cool to watch. And, yeah. Uh, kind of spicy at times, but <laughs> I really liked it. And then Dragon Ball Z, I, w- I, I, w- I did baseball when I was younger, and I liked, I love to work out. I mean, uh, my buddies and I love, love to run to wrestle or, or box. I mean, it was, yeah, yeah. It was uh, when it came to Dragon Ball Z, I think that moment in the Namek art where Vegeta powers up against Raccoon, mm. I was like, I really like this. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and it's just going, going upwards from there. So uh, I loved it. And uh, I don't know. Again, um, fast forward. Mm-hmm. I, I'm watching a bunch of anime, but I hated when you get to a point where you loved a series and it just and <laughs> it's like, oh no, no season two. Yeah, that's, not, that's not happening. <laughs> like, oh, uh, yeah. where, where where can I see it? And eventually, I just I just gave up waiting for a lot of these animes, and then Naruto. Mm-hmm. Uh, I loved it. I, I was like, I, I need more. So people were telling me about that it's online, and so I started looking, looking, and found found scans, and I kept up with it week to week. And I, I re- that was my first actual uh, manga reading, really. Yeah. That I read all the way to the end, and I absolutely loved it, oh, except for the fact that there was constant filler, and that, that's my only gripe with the Naruto <laughs> series. Is like, what does this have to do with the main story? Yeah. I don't care about these people yeah, yeah. but I, I take that back at the end because they did a whole thing with kakashi i don't know if you remember that but yeah uh, i was like i love kakashi but honestly come on you're on the last arc <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, but, but mother's basement have you ever heard of have you ever yeah. seen that channel yeah i loved his uh his video with chainsaw man spy family and a th- I can't remember what the third one was, but mm-hmm. absolutely was interested in these series. And so went to the uh, Kino Kinea and oh, yeah. cause I, I, cause I was just looking up where, where's manga. And I didn't realize this was a really cool place. Went there, picked them up. And those were really my first ones that I got. And after that, uh, nice. I think I saw dark sage and a few other people. And I was like, man, I really want to do this eventually, but I want to get a little bit more and, from then, I just kept on reading, kept on buying more, and then mm-hmm. had a little collection and just started streaming on my phone. Not streaming, but uh, <laughs> recording oh, on my yeah. phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, awesome. Awesome, man. Yeah. Cause, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, I, I looked in, at, at least, at least I saw that you had, uh, created your, the account in like October of last year. So, so yeah, so yeah. you're, you're may, maybe like a handful of months away from, from hitting, the one year uh, the one year and stuff man so but um but yeah but but like i said just just wanted to make sure you know I, you know touch on that and you know uh gave you a proper shout out because you know of course that's that that's how we met was through you yeah. know uh through uh the yeah. fact that we yeah. both twitter. did this yeah and yeah. twitter and stuff so uh i remember that night too because my wife <laughs> was pretty upset at me because all she knew is she she we're, we're both in bed i'm over here on twitter and i'm just laying on my stomach just looking around and i, and I think you you it's like you you approached me and i was like hey what's up and we started yeah. talking about manga and then my wife's turning around like who are you texting her in the middle of the night it's like no no it's it's a guy it's a guy <laughs> Oh man, that 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 that's like a it, it, that perfectly reminds me of a the 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 one meme about oh he's probably thinking about other girls and it's like it's like it's just oh, like, like a thought but I was like like no I'm I'm like man what 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 is Dad needs to talk up to? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first um, thing I thought of was like uh, that State Farm commercial it was like oh, oh what are you wearing Jake from State oh, yeah. Farm <laughs> khakis? <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. So, so yeah, so yeah, man, yeah, ever, ever since then, yeah, me and you, yeah, we've been rocking and rolling and, uh, you know, chatting, um, I, I I feel, I feel like we touch base at least once a week, if, yeah, roughly, at least on something, whether it be commenting on something from each other or, or, you know, or just chatting in messages and stuff, so, man, but, uh, but, uh, and, and, and of course, also, you know, you know found out that, that you know you're also here here within texas as yeah. well um what was always a very uh f- 
fun and cool thing just to learn like oh yeah okay there, there, there's more of us out there in in the area a lot in of, the state yeah a lot of them in texas too i'm starting to notice that i was like man texas has become a real big streaming place yeah man yeah because uh because because i was uh i was uh very surprised uh because uh, you were talking about uh, Chase the Dark Sage when I found that, that he's up here in Dallas too. So, yeah. um, which was something I literally did not find out until like right before I was about to record with him at the end of last year. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, as many times as, as I've been on his pages and his like Twitter account or whatever, just for some reason when I was like doing like some like last minute touches or whatever, I happened to actually see the, oh, location Dallas. And I was like, wait you live here and stuff. So, and so it, it, stuff like that just always just makes me think of like, man, like how many times have I maybe been next to somebody in traffic or in the same grocery yeah. store or whatever and, and, and not known it and stuff, man. So, but if it were in the anime world, I mean, you guys be neighbors. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> exactly. Like, like, like we are, uh, we, we both stay in the same, uh, uh, yeah, complex and stuff. <laughs> that, that, that 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 would be a very funny uh like a comedy series like a little series. premise it's, it's, it's like it's like a bunch of people who do uh youtube and stuff stay in the yeah. same complex but they don't know it um and stuff so i think that'd be kind of a, a funny little show but yeah. uh but yeah man so so yeah, like like i said like i said shout out to you and and all the dope stuff that you do um I'm gonna touch on very briefly, uh, just because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have enough this month to for me to do like a full haul, or if I did do like a super mini, um, just because I've, I have severely cut back on my buying in the last month, just because mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, with life stuff going on, I, yeah. especially with all the traveling, I might, I might have to do soon. I'm like, okay, I'm about to just buckle down. And, yeah. and and pause on stuff for that, especially when, um, like like a month or so ago, I like like really looked at my shelf and I was like, I was like coming across stuff that I bought this time last year that I still That's haven't the... touched, and I'm like Robert, yeah. Robert, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Um, and so so yeah, so I kind of paused and hadn't uh bought much. Um, the, the only thing I had bought like last. Okay, yeah, we're still in June. <laughs> the only thing yeah. I had bought, I had bought um, last month in July was I had picked up a colorless, uh, colorless, oh, and, yeah. uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, colorless, and then um, yeah. Lost Lad London was the uh, other one. Yeah, I almost picked that one up. It seemed like a cool premise. Was it that somebody died on one of the railroad stations? Yep, it was the uh, the the mayor was found dead on a uh, on yeah on like the subway train, and then it kind of uh this this young guy in college, he kind of gets rubbed rubbed into the mystery as well as this uh, uh detective as well. So they're kind yeah. of end up having to uh, cross paths and stuff. So but um, but but those those two purchases was more of like a hey. I did really good that month, so hey, here's a yeah. treat for myself. Well, this month, uh, so Friday when I came into work, I had a very awesome surprise. I had an email with uh, it, it's this little thing that that, that my company does where uh, where I guess your manager or just other employees can basically mm-hmm. kind of give you like a kudos or whatever, but this one's called like applause or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I got this email. I was like, Hey, you know, uh, per my manager for this project that we just finished wrapping up, um, yeah. earlier, earlier in the month, you know, Hey, you got this applause, blah, 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 blah. And you were awarded 4,000 points and you can redeem them. Well, I've never heard or seen of this program. So I'm like, I have no clue what this is. What does four thousand points mean? Can yeah? Why not just give me four thousand dollars? But <laughs> am I being scammed or what's going on? <laughs> exactly, because I I had to look at the email really. Well. I'm like, hmm, this looks kind of fishy. Um, yeah. But uh, but long story short, um, <clears throat> I was scrolling through the little catalog thing, and at first I was like, don't nothing in here seem really appealing, but that's because I had started from like bottom going yeah. up so i'm seeing like trash stuff 
But then I sort yeah. of get to the era they had like gift cards and stuff. I'm like, okay, they they had like gift cards for like Nike and Barnes, 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 Barnes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Which <laughs> which I, I wasn't even expecting to even see that in there because you know I'm like I'm like you know Barnes yeah. and Nobles really wouldn't be like top of my list. I'm I'm like I was thinking maybe at least like an Amazon gift card or whatever. Yeah, but, Starbucks or something. But exactly. But I'm scrolling through whatever, and then I saw like a twenty five dollar Barnes and Noble. I'm like okay Ooh, so yeah. i kept scrolling and then eventually i found that there was a hundred dollar barnes and nobles gift card so oh, yeah. uh so the the hundred dollars is worth two thousand points so i could have gotten two but for now i got one because I, I was i was, yeah. like, I was like, let me just test this out to make sure how this all goes before i just immediately blow it all <laughs> so so yeah so i got the hundred dollar gift card i applaud your restraint yeah, so uh, so I I still have enough so I can go back so maybe, but uh, but so I picked up a few things like so I'm gonna just touch on br- very briefly, uh, I picked up Blue Lock Volume One, yeah. uh, which I'll somewhere on this video on YouTube I'll put a little link for the review because I put up the review yeah. for this um on Monday um and just just to mention very briefly. Uh, for any listeners or watchers, like what is Blue Lock? So, as anybody that's seen that can see the cover, it is a soccer sports manga. And but the thing with this series is that basically, three hundred of some of the best best athletes from Japan, soccer athletes from Japan, yeah. get taken to this facility called Blue Lock, and they are basically being trained to become the best striker to basically give Japan's national team a chance to actually winning cuz yeah. uh, cuz this organization they're basically tired of just being just selling for oh we made it to the tournament or whatever they're mm-hmm. like no we want to win and so they they, they come up with the blue lock uh program and so uh-huh. basically the characters get uh sectioned off into smaller groups to where they're competing to become the best and yeah. so uh so th- this one 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 thing that i liked about this uh is that this kind of dives a bit more into like the psychological aspect oh, okay. of of like of like uh of like what these uh, players and stuff are thinking on a mental mm-hmm. level um just because like because it, it it basically puts them in a situation to where they're like hey if you do this forget the rest of your life like like you're gonna be living in the facility no cell phone no regular yeah. school no family and you're gonna be here for the next i think it's like six months to a year so yeah but um but yeah but like i said for for deeper thoughts check out my review but th- this is one um it also has an anime coming out in october so yeah i'm very happy that i finally got to check it out or whatever it is one i am definitely going to be uh continuing reading because it, it definitely did not disappoint there's also been a few manga tubers have been talking about that one so yes know, got some hype behind it yes for sure uh this next one uh was a uh a, a personal one that i wanted to pick up because i enjoyed the first volume so much yakuza yakuza reincarnation oh, volume is that the one two with the tattoo on the back yep yep oh, yep yeah. so uh so like I like like I said like, like this is one um I reviewed the first volume like a few months ago and really yeah, enjoyed it yeah and j- just as a reminder this one is about a uh a old yakuza boss ends up getting reincarnated into this fantasy world as the as the princess of this kingdom but he still of course still has his memories and his uh his codes of honor and ethics ethnic uh and so, but yeah, it, it was just just a really dope read. And so I was I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this second volume because it just dropped. Um, but um, the next few volumes I probably won't pick up to the end of the year because we'll we'll get two more volumes by December. So I'll probably okay. pick up three and four, um, probably may, maybe as a Christmas gift for myself. But um, but yeah, that one, another continuation, Blue Period Volume Seven. Um, now. Those of y'all that's been following me for a while, y'all know how much I enjoy the Blue Period anime. Um, th- this is the one that's about uh, a student who pursues um, art, and so, 
slight spoilers uh, for 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 the end of season one slash the previous arc. He ends we up had plenty of time. You're yeah, fine. he he ends up getting <laughs> into university. So now we're transitioning from a high school story to them being college students. So this is the first volume for the university arc, and the uh, so so this will be all new material for me because I've uh you know of course I watched the anime so I didn't bother picking up any of the previous volumes because that stuff I already read. So yeah. everything from here going forward will be new material for me. And the exciting thing is that they're coming out with these volumes at a pretty quick pace for the next, for the rest of this year. So this just came out this week. Volume eight is coming out uh -huh. in July. And then between now and January, we're getting uh, from here to volume 12. So we're uh -huh. getting like five more volumes over the next six months. So I'm interested in that because you don't get a lot of a lot of manga or a anime that actually focus on college life or or uh, being an adult. That's why I really like Wotakoi and and other, yes. others like that because it was like, okay, cool. I'm not in high school again. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Fun times, but there's other times outside that. Exactly. Um, and 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 th th this is one I, w I would also, uh, if, if I hadn't already recommended to you, <laughs> I would recommend it to you now. Um, just because um, that series, the, the way it kind of tackles the struggle that the characters go through as being artists, I think that is something that all of us in this space, as far as like being content yeah. creators and stuff like that or whatever, it definitely hit very. Uh, close to home in, in, a, in a sense mm -hmm. with uh, with a lot of the topics and things that the characters go through as far as like, you know, uh, you know, like trying to learn to do stuff on your own, having that support or not having that support yeah. from family and friends. So, but yeah, Blue Period, definitely recommend that. Uh, these next couple, I finally decided to pick up Land of the Lustrous. I got volume yes. one and two. Uh, so th this has been on my list for a while to check out because as, as y'all can yeah. see, just based off of these covers alone, freaking ring light sucks, but, uh, <laughs> but these covers look very beautiful and just interesting. So, uh, yeah. have, have, have you, have you checked out the series? I, I've tried to get my wife into it. Uh, I figured she might like that because uh, a lot of my YouTubers were recommending that. It. It's like, oh yeah, I really like this one. And yeah. I had her look through it. She was kind of, eh. But yeah. I looked through it. The art looks really weird. Uh, mm -hmm. do, you, do you remember uh, old school MTV where they had like liquid television and you had mm. like Aeon Flex? That's what it kind of reminded oh, me of almost. Yeah. 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 I'm kind of like scrolling through it right now. Uh, it's really, yeah. really, it's really interesting. Just, I just, <laughs> something like that. It's, it's on my list. It's just probably not going to get it yet. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just eh, like one of the panels. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, cause like, cause like I said, like, like this has been on my radar for a little while, but the thing that kind of like brought it back on my radar was, uh, when they had, uh, when they announced the, uh, the Trigon remake that's coming out next year, the studio, yeah. the studio that's working on that, I think it's studio orange. They also did the anime for this. And so, I looked at like, uh, cause a lot of people were like, oh, cause, cause you know, of course they also did yeah. these stars. So a lot of people were like, uh, Trigun, CGI, blah, 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 blah. Well, B stars hey. looks pretty good. And then yeah. I looked at some, uh, uh, clips from the anime from this and that looks pretty good. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, I'm like okay. I'm like between those couple of things, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finally give it a shot. Um, because of uh oh and the other reason why it's back in my mind as well is along with all these other freaking series that's been coming back like hey hunter hunter's coming back berserk so on and so forth yeah this is a series that apparently the manga for this has been on hiatus for a, a couple of years as well so yeah so it's it's finally making a return as well so um but yeah so i'm excited to finally dive into that and the last one i picked up yeah is sensei's pious life um this is one I notice it's wrapped up. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is one that I've also been seeing kind of going around the community yeah. as well recently. 
Um, so from my understanding that this is also kind of like a, a psychological thriller series. So I, I guess just, just for anybody just listening or watching a uh, brief synopsis, uh, do, 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 let's see. In Sensei's pious life, um, it weaves a complex web of sex, uh, ambivalence, desire, and violence that combines to produce one of the most nuanced and affecting explorations of the intersection between power and gender available in any medium. Um, the actual synopsis is 24-year-old uh, Mizura Hara is a shy, introverted high school teacher content to play the passive role of, of observer until her quiet life is shaken to its foundations by two men, one of her friends, one her friend's fiance, and the uh, and the other her student. So that's the only thing that's touched on. But the interesting thing also, um, which uh, so the author of this is a, a Kane uh, Turakai. So it, it is not often that within anime and manga that you that you hear about like power couples of yeah. husband and wife to do stuff. So the the main one that a lot of people know is uh is uh. Good Lord, I can't remember his name, but the the the, the creator of Hunter Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, oh. being married to uh, the creator of Sailor Moon. Oh, that's cool. Well, the creator of this, her husband, is uh, Inuo Asano, the guy behind series like Downfall, and uh-huh. Downfall as well as. Solonin. So these are also both very uh dark uh, and depressing stories. Yeah. And so the fact that the stuff that she works on is is supposedly also some dark and depressing stuff. Yeah. So the fact that they're both <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh married It's actually pretty now. nice in their household, right? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> but uh but yeah, so that 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 is uh Hope I didn't ramble too long on that, but um, but yeah, no, that, that's no. that's the stuff I picked up recently. Uh, let me ask that the Trigon series, those omnibuses, were those Dark Horse reprints? I, I have a hard time yeah. seeing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm a little Dark excited Horse. about that. Do you think that since they're bringing it back, do you think they'll try to do hard covers? Oh, this that, 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 that would be it. awesome. <laughs> that 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 would definitely be very awesome. Um, uh, if they did, um, I honestly. Honestly, the 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 way these announcements have been in 2022, I feel like nothing is off the table at this yep. point because <laughs> it, it feels like for sure every week, if not every day, like people's dreams have, are being met. Like like series of people are like, man, I yeah. hope this gets a season two or or this manga that's been on hiatus for years. I hope it comes back. Everything is happening is like, oh, you want Trigon remake? Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want Berserk and Hunter Hunter to come back? Oh, here you yeah. go. Oh, you want season two of this anime that has been gone for five plus years? Here you go. That's cool. They did. Hey, <laughs> who, who knows? Who knows? Maybe, yeah. maybe about it, when we wake up tomorrow, it might might be yeah. a <laughs> a high school of the dead uh, post. Uh, but yeah, but that man, but um, and and and, and that and uh, and just the fact of like so many manga series that I've like uh, cause I don't I don't know about you, but there there's there's been a lot of times whenever I've been like out and about browsing yeah. and like I'm like okay that looks interesting, and I have a list in my phone of just manga of like okay that looked interesting mm-hmm. I'll just make note of the name. Well, there's been so many series like like example uh. I think last week, uh, Skipping Loafer, they announced that's getting an anime. Oh, yeah. Uh, whoa, because th- th- there's another one. Uh, I think uh, My my Maid is Mysterious or something. That's getting an anime next I think, season. Is that the one where it's, she's kind of supernatural or, or something? Like a ghost yeah, or something? Some, yeah. something potentially supernatural about her, yeah. Um, but yeah, just series like that's where I'm like, oh yeah, I maybe want to want to read that one day. Uh, Otaku Elf is another one uh, that that kind of like piques my interest. 
Is that the um, plus size elf or no? Okay, <laughs> no, <laughs> so that's a custom. I'm about to say di- different elf. <laughs> Diff- <laughs> di- 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 this elf is playing a Nintendo Switch and, and PlayStation. <laughs> All right, but uh, but yeah, man, it, it it is like it is like uh, you know, I just be telling people, I'm like, man, put put your hopes and dreams out into the universe, because somebody yes. somewhere is just signing off on like mr mr anime mr manga at corporate yeah i'm like hey intern if, if you want to shoot your shot like hey i would love a whatever obscure anime or, or obscure manga i would love to have that get an anime yeah. sure just approve live action every- great <laughs> <laughs> just, just just stamping and uh and approving everything uh yeah. hopefully not everything because I don't, I don't know if you saw my post uh yesterday just uh, somebody had made a little like, hey, this would be like if Kevin Feige uh, did Dragon Ball Z alive. No, and I didn't see so that. I was like, I was like, I was like uh, <laughs> nah. Uh, and I was like, I, that would really make me worry. I think that might kill the franchise just doing a live action. <laughs> and then I look it up. I, was, I do a Google search. It's like, uh, does this? I was like, who owns the rights? And I looked it up, and they said something about Disney owning the rights. And and it's like they don't own all the rights, but they do own the the rights to do a live action and the date on this thing was like may 2022 i was oh, like wow. no no but <laughs> but d- digging down further is apparently when disney bought fox that was a part uh, th- uh fox had the rights to do live action because you remember that dragon ball oh, evolution yeah. so they still had that so that that was in the deal so they're not there's nothing that says they're gonna do it yeah but they have the capability <laughs> be careful <Yeah. laughs> careful what you wish for there's gonna be another one <laughs> Yes, exactly. But uh but yeah, so that, that that that's pretty much what I have uh what I picked up recently. Like I said, like more than like us like I said, I might not do an actual yeah. separate video on or whatever for, for, for just those handful because uh, 'cause I'm uh um which, which which I guess I'll I'm gonna talk about this super briefly, whatever, but um yeah. I I I have an idea of uh because cause, um and this is just for everybody listening whatever uh so i think i kind of have have a rough sketch of how i might plan out stuff going forward um yeah. just because I, I was kind of like looking through um both on youtube as well as on my on the podcast stuff side the audio only side of stuff i was like okay just curious like, okay like, like 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 what is like some of like my f- most viewed or listened to stuff or whatever and so a lot of it happened to be stuff that I enjoyed doing, mm-hmm. which which happened to be a lot of like my my individual reviews. Because I think yeah. I think uh, I think from the Red Fog when I talked about Volume One of that, I think that's like uh, one of the, my highest things. Um, yeah. That and uh, is is that one going on hiatus or is that canceled? Uh, well, so that that I'm not 100 percent for sure on because so so I saw a thing one day that yeah. said that it's ending. But then, like like the next day or so, I saw a post about the series has a big announcement coming in a, a couple of weeks or next month or whatever. Yeah. And so I saw speculation in the comments of like either maybe either it might be an anime or some people are saying that maybe it might be part two or a continuation of the manga. Um just because it's a safe bit for anime yeah yeah because uh because from from what i saw the manga only at least like right now it only got like 20 ish chapters and that's yeah. usually ballpark for like hey it got canceled but yeah there, there are some series that authors intentionally make short you know because because i've come across some stuff like uh what was it uh i think i think i think this lost lad london I think that's only going to be like three volumes and something else that, oh, I've, yeah. that I've checked out recently is only like a crazy food volumes. truck. Yes. Thank you. That, that, that's what I was trying to think of too. Yeah. That one's only going to be three volumes. So who knows? Um, but, uh, but yeah, but so, so my, my rough idea I'm thinking, um, and may, maybe I shouldn't say this out loud cause it'll be on record, but I'm thinking, <laughs> it's like, yeah, t- tell me more. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like, I'm thinking that, I might have like, hey, Mondays will be just dedicated review days, yeah. Because just just to have like the consistency, because 
look, looking at how I've done stuff, of course, it's my first year doing this. So it's a lot of experimentation and stuff, whatever. But I'm like, I'm like, Robert, did you really need to put up like three reviews in the same week or whatever? And it's like, you know what? I might, I might go on a binge read of several things, but I can just record them all and then just yeah. schedule them to come out. So, um, so roughly, I think I might do Monday's reviews and then Wednesday be the podcast. And then the back half of the week would just be, you know, if I want to do something is there, if not, it'll just be clear. But, uh, but I'm, I'm just looking to do it. If I don't get to it in July, for sure. In August, um, just because of how crazy stuff is about to get, don't know <laughs> how, how that stuff might play out. But, um, yeah. but yeah, just, just wanted to put that out there. Um, but, Enough of me uh, rambling and stuff, cause time time is freaking flying by. Uh, oh wow! Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize I'm like, we've already almost <laughs> been doing this for an hour. Uh, but uh, now now I, I I know that you. Uh, I, I know you mentioned that you're working on your hall thing. Uh, yeah. Did did you have anything that you wanted to mention? You picked up, or you want to save it for that? <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess I'll keep the specifics uh, till when the video comes out. But I've just been looking at a lot of how people um, get more views, and one of the things I've looked at is the intros. Um, when you, whenever you're doing those, you got to think about the people watching your videos. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like it's like like two three seconds is about all you have. So you you not only got to deliver it on the from what you promised in the thumbnail, you also have to keep keep their attention like every few seconds. Like yeah. all right. So uh, an angle shift or maybe writing something on, on the screen or yeah. doing just constantly doing something different and keeping it entertaining yeah. will, will help. So with this one, I kind of didn't really cut my intro out because I always do the welcome back to Otaku training. This, yeah. So you remember what was the recent anime where you, you had the isekai? One second. Uh, Michiko Tensei? Yeah, you remember? Remember in the beginnings where it didn't really have their intro. Oh, it just yeah. it just it rolled credits, but it showed what was going on, and you kind of get an idea what was going. Yeah, on. yeah, they they they, they kind they kind of did like a uh, their intro was kind of like hey like 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 we'll we'll fill you in on some stuff while playing yeah. the music and the credit. I, I really liked how they did that. Yeah, I I loved it, and I was like, I'm gonna do something I mean, manga hall like what that I mean what that would look like in a manga hall. Yeah. So basically what i'm gonna do and then after that i'm gonna be doing different uh camera things and but it, you, you'll see i say yeah. maybe yeah. maybe a couple more days I, I said three more days but i i finally got a lot done today yeah and i think I'm about halfway done now yeah yeah uh and then i'll have to go back over it and then cut more because you, you think it's fire when it's when you're done and then like no i need to re- I'm gonna wash it over again and you find like so many things to cut after that like no they don't need to see that they don't need to hear that Oh yeah, uh, but, but besides that, that's kind of what I'm working on, and kind of doing a different persona on Twitter right now. If you see yeah. it, it's like a, I started my villain arc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this, this is me messing with all the other manga tubers. Nothing serious. Just oh yeah, uh, did a little thing with Dark Sage on on one of the uh, one of the threads. I can't remember which one it was, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. but he was he was ragging on me and I, and. I was basically, I'm gonna do what Manga Hero and uh, uh, Safe Senpai couldn't. So, uh, <laughs> and the, I think I got the picture of the Joker where he's talking to the guy in front of the fire of, of all the burning money. It's like this community, oh, this yeah. community needs a different class of villain, and I'm gonna give it to him. <laughs> yeah, so, man. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, and one 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 other thing I want to touch on really briefly before we dive into these uh, these anime. So I got I got to give a quick shout out to uh, to to my homie um, GB from a Worst Generation podcast. So we were what, what shoot I'm trying to remember what space were we in. I'm trying to remember I don't, I don't know if was it anime after dark or I don't know. I don't know. We 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 be in so many spaces yeah. and stuff over. I, I've seen years. some. I see you pop up constantly, and I was like, man, you're you're always working. You're always <laughs> you're always sharpening yourself. Yeah, man. But uh, but it, wherever it was, um, yeah. we was talking about. Hold on, did 
Okay, sorry, make sure nothing dropped. Cause this yeah, dude. Dope. But, uh, but anywho, we, we was talking about, uh, or the topic came up of, uh, I don't even remember how it got brought up, but basically he was talking about uh, different other podcasts and something that, that he was enjoying. And he mentioned that uh, something about, about audio dramas. And he mentioned this audio drama podcast called we're alive. We're alive is a podcast, audio drama podcast that I was so in love with about um have, have you ever heard of it? No, I, I think it might be you ever heard of the Prairie Home Com- Companion? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It was on one of those AM channels, but it came on I think it still comes on right now. It's basically uh old old school, old time old radio where they kinda do um kind of like say audio dramas, but they yeah. have a lot of the sound effects and everything. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. So like, yeah. So they'll have they'll have their whole little scene, but they'll have a guy just making all these different sounds, and it's pretty. F- it, it's a lot of comedy, but yeah, I think that's kind of what you're going for, right? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, so we're alive. Um, and people watching the video, I have it up on the screen, um, just yeah. just, just so people can see. But um, but yeah. So yeah. So th- th- it's it's audio drama, basically about uh uh. Kind of, kind of, kind of like, kind of like a zombie apocalypse type of scenario, yeah. where you're following this cast of characters, and 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 kind of like, like what you just said, like they have the full sound effects and everything. It, it feels like, yeah. um, it feels like I'm, um, I'm enjoying a show, but I'm just not watching. Um, yeah. but I kind of do that anyway. <laughs> yeah, and so, uh, so yeah, so so this series originally came out in I think 2009. And I discovered really? I discovered it around like 2012 when when I was uh, finishing up college and getting ready to move yeah. up here, and so so I had a couple years worth of stuff to just binge through, and yeah. so I loved it because I, I had to do a lot of driving and commuting and stuff at the time, mm-hmm. and so I would always enjoy those those drives because I'm like, hey, I got this to listen to, whatever. Well eventually it ended at that point in time and so i thought all these years okay it was done yeah my boy gb had mentioned that it had came back and they have done several in the last few years so they they did a couple nice. of like a spinoffs called we're alive lockdown um that one was on like was like like a like a mini like six part episode thing and then they also did We're Alive Gold Rush, um, which is what yeah. I'm what I'm listening to now. So I I, I listen to Lockdown within a day, <laughs> and then Gold Rush I'm going through now. Yeah. And then just a few months ago this year, in February of this year, they started We're Alive Descendants, which I guess kind of like follows the kids of some of the cast from the previous one. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, I, I just had to give a shout out, and I had to mention this because, like I said, for anybody that might have listen to the show a decade ago <laughs> like I did mm-hmm. and you thought that it was just done because the the so I still have that original uh thing on the pocket on the on the old podcast app, podcast app I used to listen, listen to whatever and of course yeah. the app refreshes all the time and stuff whatever but that never updated so I just thought all these years nothing happened well That's... well on Spotify they have it all in one feed. So when you yeah. search, when I search for We're Alive, it all pulled up versus the old app I was using. Yeah. Each thing is its own separate RSS feed. So you wouldn't have never known. But, um, but yeah, but yeah, definitely. Like I said, if, 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 if you enjoy audio dramas, check it out. And like I said, if you're a, if you've ever listened to that show or whatever, Hit me up and let me know, uh, cause like yeah. I said, like like it, it was cool finding out that not only is it alive, is it alive, ha, huh? <laughs> but uh, but that somebody that I've been friends with in the community is also a fan of the series. So so yeah, so we're alive is is alive and kicking. I gotta so. find I gotta find one because now that you t- now that you mention it, my wife actually 
got one on Audible, and we were listening to it when we were heading your way. Yeah. Um, and it was kind of it was kind of like a vampire drama, and it mm. was uh, like futuristic vampires, and it was actually pretty interesting. And the audio, my perfect, it was chef's yeah. kiss right there. So uh, I think it's an untapped market, and it's not. It, it's a uh, it's a niche right now, but I would yeah. say it's. It I don't know when that would blow up, but I, I would say something like that should blow up soon. Yeah, and I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find. I, I, I might not be able to find it right now, but um, cause he, cause he had mentioned another one that he had recommended. He was like, "Hey, if you like that, also check out this other one." Um, of course, I can't find it when I need to find stuff, but um, but anywho, I I, I just had to make sure I gave that a uh, yeah, gave that a shout out. out. So, um, oh, I okay. don't know if you saw this. Yeah. Uh, real, real quick, a few seconds. Right stuff. Uh, I normally check the pre-orders and what's in stock because if it, even though it's on pre-order, if it's in stock, they'll send it. Yeah, uh, I, a couple of them after after I made my last haul uh, and it's still on the way. But after I bought it, um, the part two came out. And I'm like, it's oh, available. Nice. Like, nice. I was like, come on. Nice. <laughs> and you'll never know when these things co- like come in, so they'll either be a couple days or be a few weeks ahead of time. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that 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 is the beauty of uh, I, I I love finding uh or coming across uh stuff early, you know, because I I know me me and you both uh be sharing when they were like, hey man, <laughs> if you're interested in this in this film, Bar- Barnes and Nobles or whoever got it out early, so yeah. uh, and with Barnes and Noble they're they're really friendly. I think they they would have gotten tired of from about me by now because you can just go on their website and check availability and eat. once they get it in their system is pretty accurate it'll update they yeah. won't even know they have it yep yep because uh because because that, that that's what i ran into uh so <laughs> so I, I was at books a million over the weekend and mm. i saw blue period seven they had that in which was weird because uh because that was before because because it just came out like yesterday or today officially yeah but books a million, uh, yeah, books a million, they never have stuff in early. So when I saw that, I was like, "Whoa, okay." Yeah. I didn't buy. I was very tempted because just just as a quick note, books a million has a buy two get one free sale going on right now. Uh, but I, I held off just because I got this freaking <laughs> gift card. So yeah. But I'm like, I'm like, man, if 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 I could have gotten a books a million gift card, can yeah. you imagine me having? A hundred free dollars and a buy two get one free, yeah. But yeah. one can Here's my it. next haul. <laughs> yeah, <Yes. Shakes> desk. <laughs> but uh, but so when I went to Barnes and Nobles, I was looking for mm-hmm. that and Blue Lock, and they the the first store I went to, they were sold out of Blue Lock, which I expected because they yeah. that was highly anticipated. Um, but they have they have Blue Period in the back, and so this is the one I frequent all the time. She was, she's yeah. oh yeah we have a few I'll go get them and so she, not only did she go and get me a copy she also brought some out and then filled up the shelves I was like yes yes super yeah. awesome so and then I went to another Barnes and Nobles and got a uh, Blue Lock and that's where I also got yeah. another copy of a uh, of a uh, Land of Lustrous as well so mm-hmm. but uh but let let's truck right along uh. Let's see um uh, where I want to start with with a few things we got to talk about uh Let's see uh Hmm you know what let, let, let let's touch on a little bit of uh of uh Classroom of the Elite first since since I know you you just uh yeah just finished Binge that, that one <laughs> So uh and I and I guess Hold on, let me do this real quick too, cause in case anybody is like, is like, what are what are these shows y'all are talking about? Um, and I listened to it in dub, and and people give me a hard time with it, but uh, we've spoken about this before. Where, uh, yeah, I, I watch a lot of dub. I actually listen really, if I were to be specific, because yeah. I, I like to do other things. Either I'll be I'll do a chore, or I'll do other things, and maybe mm-hmm. maybe it's a slow day at work, and maybe I'm facing up and yeah. probably have something in my ear and listen. 
can get a couple episodes out of the way because there's so much content we want to get through with well, with what we're doing we got to be up to date so yes. it's helpful to get dub instead of because when you got sub you have to be there and watch it it may be yes it may be in a better quality but it's just easier for some half the time yeah so just a brief synopsis so classroom of the elite um so the brief synopsis of that is a uh, kudo Ikuse Senior High School is a leading school with state-of-the-art facilities. The students there have the freedom to wear any hairstyle and bring any personal effects they desire. Um, basically, the school is like a utopia, but the truth is that only the most superior students receive favorable treatment. And so, basically, in a nutshell, this series kind of is a not 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 a death game that, that that's going too far it, it feels like one <laughs> it, it has the feeling of it yes so so i, I definitely feel like, like like the potential is there because uh um uh, and, and, and maybe just because i kind of watched these series back to back so recently or like like right before i watched this i had finished watching a tomodachi game um which that that i see it yeah it's got that little uh, doll. It looks like a little kid on the yeah. old cap. Yeah. So that that's one I, I would maybe recommend as well. Because uh, that, that one's definitely more of like the death game thing, whatever, mm-hmm. too. But um, but yeah, but Classroom of the League kind of gives that same vibe. Um, and one thing that I enjoy about this, that I enjoyed about this one, as I did with Tomodachi Game, is that the main character is very smart way smarter than he kind of puts on he kind of uh mysterious too mysterious pulling strings from the shadows moving the chess pieces on the board manipulation i i like a character like that because like okay hey you're competent you're smart you got yeah. stuff going on so uh so yeah so the the one of one of the main reasons why i decided to finally pick this one up was because Season two is coming out. Like I mentioned yeah. before, it's coming out um, in the uh, in the next couple of weeks, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm like, you know what? It's time. I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, now I, I don't know about you, but I'll say for myself, that first episode. I. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, froze for a second, like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like, about to like, let, let me hit the pause button real quick. But, uh, but yeah, so the uh, that that first episode was okay. Yeah, it was like I said. That's why I, I messaged you when I watched. It. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I hate the main character. That's like, he's got that sleepy vibe. Like, oh, oh my god, uh, what what's the guy from Kaguya-sama? The 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 treasurer, where he's kind of got the oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, I, 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 I don't know his name off anybody. Like somebody, yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah, it, 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 but yeah. For for me, it wasn't until like pro- probably like 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 the very end of the first episode, where I was like, okay, yeah. there's something there, and and also maybe just because of the fact that like I've heard of the hype and potential was another reason why I'm like, ah, oh, the first first episode was okay. But I'm gonna keep going because I know there is potential there. Now, yeah. if I might have been watching this cold turkey, not knowing, yeah, I might not have been as confident to, you know, continue. And give it another chance. Yeah, give yeah. it a chance. But, uh, but th- this was definitely a show to where for me, as it went on. I I I was I was okay okay I'm I'm enjoying this more yeah I'm enjoying the characters a bit more, um but it it definitely felt like a big tease and set up for more to come yeah so I I yeah, can yeah. I can definitely see why people were clamoring for mm-hmm. a season two waiting for five grueling years. <laughs> I, I I was gonna get the first volume, but I heard a lot of trash getting talked about it. Like people didn't like it, so I was yeah. like, I'll just go ahead and skip this one and wait till they get a few more. And if people start praising it, maybe I'll check it out. But I I actually getting getting by the first episode, like this is not bad. It was like that ending was okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick around for a little bit longer. Then it just consistently got more interesting, and 
uh, I would say there's some, again, the characters in the first episode just annoyed me. Like you had, uh, who, uh, K- uh Kikoyo, I think that was her name. The short, uh, the blonde short haircut. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, just goody goody. She, she's like, I hate that personality. Cause I'm always suspicious of, of somebody that is that lawful good. <laughs> And, and she's over here, like on the bus, trying to get trying to get this old lady a seat. And it was like, why are you? You don't even have a seat, and you're trying to make somebody else get up. <laughs> yes. Now I, I I will say, like I I did like that switch of her when we saw that other side of her. I was like, yeah, okay. I was like, I got I got it. I knew yes. it. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay. There there is more there, and mm-hmm. but between that moment, uh, as well as when when they kind of made the shift at the school to where it was like, it was yeah. okay, like the first few days or maybe it was even like the first month of school where yeah. the the teacher seemingly didn't care and it was like people coming to class yeah. late, buying video games, which, which, which I guess that that's something else for the setup I should have mentioned too for anybody that might be new to this is that so with the students, they get allotted, basically, basically it's, kind of, it's kind of like an allowance, but it's points to where it's like hey um oh and also they live on campus so it's like hey ev- they have everything there stores mall anything that you can need they have mm-hmm. there within the facility and so these points that you get um every month that's your basically your your spending money, money like for everything or whatever well the first like month or so kids oh, were you- just yeah, you remember? Did you see? Did you look up to see how much a hundred thousand yen is? It's seventy three hundred dollars is what yeah. they were given. Yeah, it, like just dropped into a class and say, like, "Here's seventy three hundred dollars. Yeah, go nuts! You'll get one. You'll get more every month, or yeah. get, this, get this about this amount every month." So you imagine a lot of people went crazy, and uh, I think I would probably <laughs> go crazy too. Yeah. I I I definitely would as well, cause I'm like, all right, all right, hey, 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 here, here, here's seven grand. I, I think I think you'd fun. probably be one of the one of the level-headed people where you'd actually say <laughs> you'd still have that eighty eighty k yen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know, I I, I I might probably would have some of it. I probably wouldn't like go a hundred percent broke, but you know, our, our the the main guy. Um, Lord, his last name, Aya, Aya uh, Nikoji, um, Aya Kanoji, something like that. I, I have it up on the screen. I and had to then, write it down. And then the girl, uh, Susan A, yep. both of them were kind of like, kind of like some of the, the only like level headed ones in the class. Mm-hmm. But there was a couple other ones, but they were like, like the main two that we kind of followed throughout the, the, the season. Yep. But they were kind of like, mm, I'm going to hold on to some of these points. I'm going to just buy what I need. Cause, cause even like in like those early episodes when, when uh, Susan A was going to the store and the guy was kind of like, like, why don't you get, you know, this the other free stuff right here? Well, not, not even the free stuff, but even like, Hey, like, like, like this better version. Over oh here yeah. That, hey, you got the money. Why not buy? And she was like, cause I don't need it. And then mm-hmm. of course, lo and behold, they come to class one day and it's like, all right. Yeah, by the way. No money yeah. for y'all, and basically it's like, hey, whatever you have now, that's what you get. If you spent all your money, then you have no money for this month, basically. Yeah. Um and, and and that's kind of where things are really started getting interesting to me. Is like, okay, yeah. all right, we're starting to see like the mind games, and there's more stuff going on here um, than what was uh, initially uh, presented, as well as like introducing the the competition between the different classes and stuff or whatever because because i think mm-hmm. they, i think they're in class d yeah. and so everybody's competing to basically try to be class a and yeah. so so did yeah you, so, did you get hints of the class system in there <laughs> a, a like little a, bit yeah like class d the bottom one people are always trying to keep them down like okay okay i see where i see what the message is trying to drop in here yes yes <laughs> And which which is kind of funny now that I think about it. Me watching this and then also um, having read that first volume of uh, Blue Lock, it's kind yeah. of a similar thing to where it's yep. it's like a classification system of like, hey, oh, y'all are, y'all are at the bottom, 
yeah. of the barrel. Y'all gotta work work your ways up way up to the top. But uh, but yeah, but yeah, man. Just just overall, I just really enjoy just seeing stuff kind of play out. But I also liked how some of the other characters was kind of like I don't really trust the main dude. Like he has something else going on. I don't know what it is, but yeah, you got something else going on, and I'm gonna find out. <laughs> You, you know what it else it reminds me of? Cla- uh, it's called Assassination Classroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm getting a lot of vibes from that now that I think about it. Uh, I was like, wait a minute, yeah, that, that reminds me a lot of Assassination Classroom. Uh, just, I, I had it in my head for a second ago, but yeah, just to remind me, the feel of it. Just, uh, I yeah. think both of them are kind of similar. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Um and the the probably, probably like, like the last little part I'll touch on for this is just that that final game, at least for the season, when they were mm-hmm. on the island, I, I really enjoyed that. Just seeing yeah. like how it, it it for me it felt like a very realistic situation of how mm-hmm. that stuff could play out to where it was like okay, hey, everybody seems to be working out and helping each other, but it it only takes it takes very little to disrupt <laughs> and, and ensue what? chaos. Cause it's like, okay, one little thing goes missing from, uh, yeah. from, from, from the girls camp. And then, Oh, something else weird is happening. And yeah. then people start doubting each other. Like, Hold on. Yeah, like, I think, I think you did it. No, you did yeah. it. And then chaos ensues. And then you got, now you got the camp on fire. And I'm over here yelling <laughs> at the screen. I'm like, it's, <laughs> here's the culprit over here it's but, like she may as well had like neon lights flashing just like <laughs> it is it, it, i did it I, i'm the one that's doing it but, she um, told you that she was gonna do this yes exactly but um but yeah man but yeah over overall though yeah uh, definitely one i would recommend like i like we both said kind of first episode a little slow yeah. But it picks up and it kind of like like starts to like really get into it as the um, episodes mm-hmm. and stuff kind of uh, unfold. Um, do um, or are you planning on jumping out to the next season when yeah. it comes out? Yeah, definitely. Because again, it it gave you a lot of good stuff to think about, and also the main thing is like you were saying, the main character he has so much that you you want to know more about his backstory you want to know yeah. what exactly is he thinking what's his end game and who are these people that are after him yeah yeah exactly so so yeah so i'm looking forward to that like like like, like i said uh season two starting in the next couple of weeks um and also they also announced season three is going to be next year so that that's Jeez. that's doubly exciting that they announced two seasons back to back which i guess they're like all right hey this is highly anticipated yeah we made y'all wait five years <laughs> Here, uh, here, here, y'all go. <sighs> so, next, uh, uh, or did did you have any other thoughts on this? Are you ready to move on? Yeah, I think we're good too. Huh? Okay. So next uh, is uh, Devil is a Part Timer, season <laughs> one. So, th- uh, good laugh. Yeah. So th- this is that. That's one. If if nothing else, I know about this show. I knew that it, that it was kind of like more of like a comedy series. So yeah. uh brief synopsis of this is a uh, uh, devil King Sato is only one step away from conquering the world when he is beaten by hero Amelia and forced to drift to the other world, which happens to be modern day Tokyo um, as conquering the world are the only skills <laughs> the devil King possesses and are obviously unnecessary in his new situation, he must work as a, uh, basically he has to work and stuff to find out his, find his way or whatever. So basically yeah. he, he kind of gets a part-time job at basically a, a quote unquote McRonald's <laughs> or whatever. Um, but th- this series, I, I enjoyed, um, like I said, I just barely finished it like right before we started recording. Yeah. Uh, but it, it it was a it was a fun uh, a fun good time. I watched it a while back. I mean, it took me so long to watch it just because I don't know. It's just the religious mentality. You talk. You have a a series for, like personifying uh, the devil, and mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know if I really want to do that. It was kind of, kind of having a manga hero moment, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. but I gave it a chance. I was like, let me just try it out because everybody raves about it, and I was actually pretty taken back. This is actually pretty funny. Yeah, 
Yeah. I, uh, it, yeah. What'd you about to say? I don't know. It, interesting idea. I mean, you, you you drop them into Tokyo. They have no powers. Well, a little bit of powers, but yeah. not a lot to actually do anything. Yeah. So they're forced to to get jobs, and it just shows the whole process. I mean, he's over here. He's like. Mod, a model employee flipping yes. those those uh was that black pepper fries like I'm yes. gonna sell the hell out of these. <laughs> yes, yes, that 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 that's one thing that I, that I just enjoyed. Like like you just said, is like is like seeing these supposedly evil characters. Like no, no, we're we're just trying to survive and make it. He's he's doing very well at his job, like you said. He's a uh, getting promotions and you know now you know by, by the end of the season he's like a shift lead <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and stuff like that and uh and like the 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 main hero uh amelia she's working in a call center <laughs> and and yeah. stuff like that but um and 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 i liked how like how like throughout the season they were like dropping in more characters that also came over from their from the other world and stuff Oh, and, yeah. and they're also her, her first oh sorry go ahead no 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 no. I, I was about to say like like they're also having to either get jobs or they're doing random stuff just to kind of like yeah. find out or figure out their way um, in this world yeah. in, in this world which, which I appreciate and, and I figured yeah. that the owner of the KFC knockoff was also going to be involved yeah. somehow yeah, but, I was like, I'm also from there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think what, what got me was when Amelia goes to their house for the first time and just banging on the door. Like, Let me in. I'm here to kill you. And just, and, <laughs> and uh, he goes, yeah, but apparently I ran into her. She apparently is here now. I was like, I just forgot to tell you. And oh, we yeah. got picked up by the cops and they think <laughs> that we were dating. And she's, uh, she's looking in the window. I was like, yes, it was totally embarrassing. I was like, <laughs> yes yes uh, that, that, no. that that is definitely like 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 a reoccurring thing that i that i enjoyed was one mm-hmm. everybody thinking that that they were in a relationship because yes. she's freaking always stalking them like these dudes are just they, they are just here trying to live their life yeah. you know working in fast food trying to figure out stuff whatever and she's spending all of her free time just creeping just, mm-hmm. yeah, just it's like oh it's like what are you doing now what are you doing now <laughs> i'm trying to think uh i'm because uh it, it was like it was like one part to where she was like like oh no what are they doing and i and i think they were trying to figure out like a recipe for, for yes a, for yes. a dish they were trying to cook <laughs> and it's like it's like it's like hey just go home they're not doing anything anything to fire nefarious uh mm-hmm. But but yeah, it, it it was a super fun watch overall. One one thing though, pro- probably that like like my only kind of gripe with it is like for me, it felt like the beginning of the next episode sometimes felt disjointed because the episode would kind of end off at a point, and yeah. then the next episode would kind of pick up where that was but maybe like a little bit of time had passed or next it, stuff happened off screen yeah so it, yeah. That, that part i was kind of felt like did i miss something or actually i i do this a lot the at the end of a lot of animes they'll roll they'll roll the credits but there's also a little bit at the end and i i'm bad at just once the credits roll out to, to just click off it there might be something after i mean so, i'm not sure i from whatever, from granted, I didn't do this for episodes because because I think I did it for like a couple episodes, and I don't think I saw anything. So so, yeah. but that I but there but like you just said, there is also a series of like like they don't do it every episode. Where it's like some episodes yeah. there's a post credit thing, some episodes it's not. So there's there's a mm-hmm. chance I, I will I, I do need to go back, but there's a chance there might be something at the end of some yeah. of them. But um, but yeah, it, it definitely kind of felt um disjointed um in some parts but um but it overall though it, it was a uh a good fun laugh yes. uh you know to to, to kind of watch and an interesting thing that i just saw about this which which i think also explains why the excitement for this coming back so like we said classroom of the elite it was five years since that season one I did not know until I'm telling because I'm because I got it up on a on a, on any list. Season one came out in 2013, so it's almost been ten years. Jeez. 
So, uh, so no wonder, cause, cause, you know, of course, you know, a lot of these sequels and stuff mm-hmm. coming out, people are of course going to be excited, but it felt mm-hmm. like the excitement for this was like through the roof. And I'm like, as, as a outsider, not having watched it, I'm like, okay. So going on? I, so going on about it? Yeah. It's, it's like, okay. <laughs> I know that I've heard it's good, but it can't be that good. But I'm like, oh, okay, y'all been waiting for almost 10 years. So I get it. (laughs) I I would be excited, too, if a series that I enjoy, even if it wasn't, like, the best of the best, if, I, you know, this was a Mm -hmm. fun watch or read, as I, hey, after a decade, it's coming back. Very understandable. (laughs) But, uh, so, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, season two of that will be starting, um, I think, actually, I, I think that might be starting on... First week of July is it? Uh, okay, okay, no, that okay. This one is July fourteenth. It is it's Classroom of the Elite that is starting on July fourth on Monday. Ah, so okay. okay, okay, that that okay, that's where I got that mixed up. So, but uh, but yeah, I, I'm excited to just kind of see like where things kind of go from here. Um, yeah, just because. As he advanced further. <laughs> yeah, because because I'm kind of yeah. curious, like like like. Of course, I'm pretty sure we'll continue to get more characters and stuff from their yeah. world coming over. But uh, will they do a time skip? Who knows? But uh, but I, 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 I think if nothing else, I'm just I'm just I'm just excited for more laughs. You know, yeah. if if nothing else, because uh, and, and and the action scenes were actually pretty decent as well. Oh yeah. So. Uh, I was actually surprised about that. I did not expect that kind of action coming from a comedy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, Kona uh, Suba coming. That one's gonna be a great one too. So that that so Kona Suba that that's one I I've never I, I know of it, but I've never. Uh, you owe it to yourself to watch it, it myself. Like, <laughs> Kona... I have never laughed so hard from an anime. But I would say I'd recommend anybody watching this watch Konosuba after you watch this because uh, you you owe it to yourself that they they the voice acting in, even in dub is so perfectly well done. Yeah, and anim, animation's good. But yeah, I was crying. I was laughing so hard. Huh? How many? Okay, so okay, so these oh. should be season two seasons and a movie. Okay, okay, and I see season one was only ten episodes. Huh? Was it? Okay, season two is also ten episodes as well. Okay, okay, and they okay they did these back to back, so twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then okay, then the movie twenty nineteen. Okay. I tried to read the manga, and it just wasn't. It didn't hit the same. So. Yeah. I think that might be an anime only for me. Okay. Huh. Uh, let's see. Okay, season three is announced. I don't see a date for it yet. So. Okay. I think they said this year. I think. Okay. All right. Well, I will. Uh, I will add this to my list. Um, cause more, more than likely, probably what I'll do, I'll probably do this like I just did with the uh, Devil's a Part Timer and uh, Classroom of the Elite. Is like like once I kind of know uh, when the next yeah. season is is imminent, I'll probably uh, um, add or start watching both of these. Cause cause yeah, I've I've, I've heard good stuff about it, but. Um, you you given the recommendation. I'll definitely, I am I am adding it to my list right now. Um, <laughs> so, but okay, okay, cool. So, uh, let me see. Uh, one one other show that I know we both uh kind of kind of uh that I, I know that yes. you, you wanted to touch on a little bit as well. Um, that that you enjoyed from uh, uh Crunchyroll, uh, I think it was. Yeah, on Crunchyroll and from and from yeah. the uh, from the spring season was a uh, trapped in a dating sim. Uh, yes. So uh, so I'll I'll, I'll 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 let you uh, touch on it because I I had talked about it a little bit. Uh, yeah. Last week, but um, but yeah, yeah. T- tell me, tell me what, I, what what your thoughts on it was and all that jazz. I absolutely love it when you have a character who's just a complete asshole. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, he hates where he is and he is trying to stay out of everything. <laughs> and like uh, in, in the story, he is basically transported into a was it Hitamo game or Hitami uh, game? Uh, uh, One of those uh, kind uh, of dating Atome. sims. Atome. Atome. Mm-hmm. Atome. Mm-hmm. 
or it's one of those dating sim games. He gets mm-hmm. transported in there and he kind of gets his memory back uh, as a child and kind of goes through life. Okay, this is that stupid Atome game. And he's yeah. just, he hates where he's at and he doesn't want to follow the storyline. So he's actively <laughs> trying to avoid, but the world just keeps pushing him uh, where uh, towards the school that he's supposed to go to. And he keeps getting promoted. And with every promotion <laughs> that gets him even further tied to the storyline. Yes. And yeah. It, it's it's pretty hilarious uh and his response to everybody he's just like dude just go get away from me yes <laughs> and and the fact that uh it's a matriarchy so a lot of the women hold a lot of the power uh so so that's something he's not used to and just being promised to to different to different women that were basically just want him to go get enrolled into the military and die so they can collect the inheritance yeah uh, that, that that's that's kind of messed up but yeah yeah uh, i was like wow this is that's pretty messed up but he remembers all the stuff from the game because he's already beaten it yeah. so he knows all the tips and tricks and he goes and finds uh treasure and basically a, a battle uh i guess a battle suit or a battle ship or something like that yeah yeah flying fortress or whatever and this little ai comes along with it and it's basically helping him out through this new world and it's pretty cool because now he has like the best uh, mech weapons. Because and again, to to dial it, do go go back. We're in a dating sim, and it has mechs. It has speed speed bike racing. It has dungeon crawling. Yes, yes. <laughs> and it's uh, they like dumped every possible genre into into the yes, series. Yes, yeah, yeah. It was a, uh, it was definitely. It, 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 it was definitely uh, a, a very fun and, and a very uh, uh, enjoyable watch, man. Cause I'm uh, <laughs> I, I'm I'm definitely right there with you. Cause yeah, it, it, it was just funny, like you said. It's just like it's like the harder he tried to stay away, the deeper he got pulled in. And yeah, I I I, honestly, I also like really enjoyed how like like within like that first episode or whatever how he kind of used his knowledge of the game to basically get away from, from that older lady that his yeah. family was under. He was just like, all right, hey, I went and found this treasure. Now I'm free. Leave me alone. I, I bought my own, like, freaking island and yeah. all this stuff, whatever. And, uh, and yeah, that that just that premise alone just makes it just very cool. And, and, and I think I, I definitely feel like anybody that that is a gamer, likes playing games and stuff, would right. definitely enjoy it just because of the aspect of like of like um like you said like okay he already knows certain story beats and stuff whatever and mm-hmm. just certain things like oh okay all right I, I guess we triggered this event to happen or or somebody might have showed up and it was like wait you're not supposed to show up until like act three of yeah. the story or different stuff like that so kind of like a butterfly effect it's like he made yeah. he made some changes but that that, that altered the storyline as well so yes yes so um but yeah, and, and I'm curious about uh, that that girl that's also in there, um, who who also I, seems seems like yeah. she played the game as well. I'm yeah. trying. To, I was trying to understand. I wonder is that his sister? Yeah, it's 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 heavily implied. I mean, I don't think they. I can't remember if they actually came out and said it, but it was pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah that 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 that's what I was thinking. So. Uh, but I, I I do hope that you know we get another season uh, yeah. sooner than later because th- this is definitely one that I, I would definitely be uh, interested in just j- just to see this guy just to continue to go through these shenanigans. <laughs> I think I like it too much. Uh, I don't yeah. think they'll do a season two. It, happen, it always happens. Oh man, I love this. Oh, it's been canceled. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, but who who knows? This might also be one. Um, that it may maybe not immediately, but I could see myself like one day, um, maybe even jumping over to the manga or something at some point. Um, maybe, yeah. But like I said, that that that'll be probably like years down the line, and I'm and and for whatever reason I'm like, oh yeah, that one show is really cool. I'm gonna read this. That that type mm-hmm. of situation. Uh, but uh, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, shout out shout out to uh, Trapped in a Dating Sim. Uh, well, 
uh, before I go on to some other stuff I want to touch on or whatever, what was there any other uh, shows well, uh, and stuff that, that you've enjoyed recently? Not, not really shows. Uh, like I said, today I, uh, I returned her purse from my, my wife found, so mm-hmm. that was uh, pretty cool. But after that, I went to a kind of, well, an older comic shop that actually moved and expanded, so they, yeah. they got a lot of stuff and they had some manga in there. Checked it out, and I didn't think this was going to look like this, but if I know a lot of y'all knew this was coming. Yeah. This is basically Iron Man and Spider-Man team up, and the it, it's basically drawn, and the story is by the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, mm-hmm. uh, again, I've said it before, I'm not a big fan of the, the new Disney Marvel, mm-hmm. but... I love I love me some Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. So I gave that a chance. I picked it up and I didn't realize I thought it was gonna be like a regular uh regular size yeah. manga. <laughs> this this thing's huge and the whole thing is in color. Yeah. So yeah. I am definitely interested and um if you don't know anything about it, it basically looks like Spider Man and Iron Man team up to go up against kind of a Yu Gi Oh type player. So it's gonna be there's gonna be card games and all kinds of references to Yu-Gi-Oh in there. So yeah. I would say I'd say probably check it out with me. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Uh, let me see. Um, so from the brief uh, Tony Stark travels to Japan to attend a gaming convention. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, awaiting his arrival is Rajiro, the CEO of a world famous card game company. He looks uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the CEO plans to unveil an amazing new gaming machine, but the inventor and his device are not at all what they appear to be. So yeah, it's uh yeah, Iron Man and uh and Spider Man go to Japan, basically. Uh so yeah, so that that that's also one that yeah, we we talked about it before we recorded, but I'm I'm planning on uh checking it out as well. So yeah. um but yeah, so okay, cool. Uh, I'm trying to think. A uh, couple of things I just, I just, I just want to just give just a quick shout out to. Um, I'm not going to touch on super deep, or whatever. But, uh, but just uh, first off, shout out to uh, uh, Berserk, the manga for that is back. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was uh, was it? I think chapter. I think it was 365 and 366. I think is what came back. Or came out, but anywho, point is the Berserk manga is back. They dropped two chapters um, this week or whatever. So I, I read through and uh, read them both or whatever. Not gonna talk about them specifically, but I'll just say yeah. they come back and immediately chaos is is ensued. <laughs> do Do you think that it that a lot of people are gonna go on and say yes more of that? Uh, you, you you mean as far as like the uh, like story wise? Yeah, or... did, uh, story and art wise, are people going to look at this and say yes? I, I can, yeah, I, I accept this. Yeah, yeah, because because uh, because because that that is definitely like when when I first saw it, um, and and I clicked on the chapter immediately that it it was not not saying that I had too many doubts that it would you know that that it, oh it's going to look super crazy different. But I yeah. think there there's always a little bit of hesitancy and doubt, especially in, you know, in this case of the author has passed, mm-hmm. you know, OK, how this is going to go. But I think like like when I uh, first opened the chapter and saw saw how it looked, I was like, OK, yes, this is berserk, which, of course, you know, he's kind of had a lot of the same core people working with him on this for a lot of time. So, of course, over the years, they have kind mm-hmm. of learned his style and how he kind of does stuff, yeah. whatever. But so I, I definitely will say, I definitely feel at least speaking for myself, I feel confident and like, okay, yes. All right. I feel good about, okay, this, you know, them choosing to continue it was, uh, a positive And at least from like, from like an art perspective, you know, a more or less still, it, it, yeah. it, it is berserk, you know? Oh, um, so. I actually slowed down because I, I I am I don't know if you can see it I'm caught up right behind my shoulder I got all ten right now that are yeah. currently out uh, I've only read up to seven and I was like I'm just gonna keep take my time with it because it doesn't have an ending I don't want to yeah. rush through it and like ah 
So I just because as long as I have one that's not opened, it's still ongoing for me. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. now that it's that it is ongoing. Go ahead, just go ahead and continue. Yeah. Oh, uh, I one one thing I am kind of curious about just because I I do feel like because you know you know they do have kind of like like a rough outline of like what he planned for the story. Mm-hmm. At least like based off of what happened with these two chapters that came back, whatever, I can kind of see them maybe moving towards some type of ending sooner yeah. than later type of thing of like, you know what, you know, we have kind of like these main beats or whatever. And okay, well, we're going to kind of just work towards this yeah. ending and wrapping up um, in, in, in some type of form or fashion. Um, so I, I can definitely see that, that that's probably where they're kind of, yeah, aiming towards, um, which, which not to say that, that, yeah. that it wasn't already kind of moving that way because a lot of stuff that he kind of got to do before he, before he passed away, yeah, he kind of set some things in motion. Certain things happened with certain characters, to where honestly, if that would have been it, I think a lot of characters would have been ha- or not characters, a lot of uh, fans would have been happy. Because it's like it's like okay, you know, there, there was like a couple of things that was kind of like uh, I hope he and this is and this was long before we knew about any health stuff, or whatever. But it yeah. was like uh, I hope he kind of touches on that, but he kind of touched on it a while back. So it was like okay, he kind of addressed certain things that people had been waiting for years <laughs> to to mm-hmm. find out. And it was like okay, that thing kind of got touched on or whatever. It kind of stopped at a at a good point. All right, I'd be happy, but but anywho, long point in my ramble. Berserk, yeah. I feel, is in good hands, and so good. You know, looking forward to uh, to reading these chapters uh, as they come out. Um, which speaking of coming back in chapters, because I I don't know, because I I think the I think this announcement got made after last week's uh, after I recorded last week. Um, we have an official date. Um, Chainsaw Man Part Two of the manga. Yes. It's coming back July fourteenth. So fourteenth or thirteenth? Uh, hold on, whatever. Mm. I might have had that wrong because I put that in my video. Like I put it on there, like coming out July thirteenth. Oh, I need to look, write hmm. that down. Check date. Well, the 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 weird thing with with whatever that day is is weird because that date is like middle of the week. <laughs> Uh, so it's not the normal, you know, how a lot yeah. of stuff is like, um, at least like for the Shonen yeah. Jump related stuff has normally been a uh, Sundays. Um, so, but you know, granted they, they have a, uh, they, they have a couple of, of, uh, series. Whoops. That is not the chainsaw series I am looking for. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. I went to Hot Topic to get a chain to see. Hey, do you have any Chainsaw Man shirts? And like, well, and then she pointed to Leatherface and like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but no, that, that is not what I am looking for, ma'am. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, July thirteenth. So okay. Uh, so yeah, so just a couple of weeks away, Chainsaw Man will be continuing. So very, excited. very exciting. Uh for that um and and we'll also be having a lot of other anime news and stuff happening in the coming week because uh mm-hmm. what is it anime expo something that oh, some convention uh, is next week um it's J- july it's the that second to last week of july it, there's gonna be uh anime not so not not so movie or something like that missouri uh, no, no, the, the the one I'm thinking about, Anime Expo, it's this weekend. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't just, realize there's another one. Yeah, so th- this is the kind of main one that Crunchyroll has been uh, promoting and stuff. So, oh. um, a couple of things I know for sure. We're gonna be getting some more information on the Trigon remake there. We're getting information nice. on the on the Bleach anime comeback there. Um. And certain other, there's other stuff with some other series and stuff, whatever, that is kind of uh, um, highly anticipated uh, to be happening um, at this event. I was scrolling through, like, their page. I don't see any of, like, the big uh, stuff listed. Um, 
So what I'm talking about is Anime Matsuri. It, it's okay. going to be uh, July 28th to the 29th. It's going to be over here in Houston. Okay. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, oh. hmm. It's like, but my, my daughter's birthday is going to be that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Uh, <laughs> no, right. uh, let's see. We'll, we'll probably get a bunch of, because uh, Yam Press has a panel there, so we'll probably get a bunch of manga announcements from them. Uh there's some stuff about the, the My Hero Academia OVAs that are coming oh, yeah. there. I'm just doing like, like a super brief scroll through. I, I got the I got the box set when it was at 106. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then I noticed the amount of, uh, of volumes were in there. I'm like, oh, man, it's not the whole series. And I was like, oh, it's still going. Dang it. <laughs> for, 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 for what series? Oh, for My Hero? Uh, My Hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they they be doing that because the uh, cause what was it uh they 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 had did a uh a sweat and soap box set, but I think they're 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 splitting that into two as well. Yeah. So because people was like, yeah, a box set, then it was like part one of box. Set. I was like, really, and, uh... really, um, yeah, I'm not. I'm trying to see where is where's all these big uh releases. These big panel things, oh, uh, yeah, because I'm you know, like, I'm just like, so I'm like super scrolling through their schedule right now on screen just to see if uh, any other big things. But regardless, what whatever news comes out of that or whatever, I'll talk about it on on the podcast next week. Um, whenever I I do my stuff with uh with my guest. Um, but uh, but anywho, uh. So, last couple of things I want to touch on before we get out of here. Uh, so I'm looking over my little notes. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, got got to give a quick shout out. So I went and watched last night uh, Top Gun Maverick. So <laughs> did this movie. So I, I don't really have too much history with the Top Gun series, whatever from the past. I know before we recorded, you mentioned that, that you had watched the original a lot um, back in the day. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I just heard a lot of good stuff about this movie. Um, the cast, super dope cast of people, <laughs> you know, um, especially one, one of my favorite people that I, I, I don't, I don't see him and stuff too much or whatever, but I've, I've enjoyed him since Mad Men, John Hamm saw yes. saw that he was in it, so I'm, I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna go and check it out. But uh, one one thing I will say for sure about this movie uh, is that it gave me an even bigger appreciation for pilots and people in the Air Force and stuff like that. Just because, granted, I know of course this is a movie or whatever, but I like movies and shows and media like this where it kind of gives you more in-depth perspective of what people go through in certain situations and stuff and so just kind of just getting just just like just like a more in-depth look of the type of training and mm-hmm. stuff these people have to go through um potential missions they have to go through for war related stuff um it it was pretty i opened it to see um and even just like just like the the effect that Mm -hmm. doing that stuff has on your body as far as like you know them making steep climbs at like freaking mach 9 or whatever causes effects on the brain where people are like blacking out or oh you know all, all just different types of stuff like that or whatever. Um, They're getting pretty realistic. Uh, yeah. Um, at, at least from our perspective, somebody who has no, uh, no, no, no. Somebody be like, that's not true. Exactly. So <laughs> as, as an outsider, you yeah. know, it, it was, it was just insightful for me. Like I said, um, cause I, I'm pretty sure there's at least like some bit of truth within yeah. all that stuff. But, um, Truth but, in all uh, things, yes. Yes, but uh, <laughs> but but yeah, I I, I just appreciate it, uh, appreciated, uh, just watching that that movie and just 
Um, of course, all the different angles from, you know, within the cockpit, from, you know, the, the you know, the camera facing them when they're in the cockpit to just, just all the beautiful scenery of like them flying around and stuff, whatever. Uh, and, uh, and, and of course, all, all the drama involved in this, because the, the kind of the main uh, crux of the movie is Tom Cruise's character is basically a legend uh, whose call sign is Maverick, but mm-hmm. he is a legend who is always into some trouble or whatever. So he's been, you know, shifted around to different bases and stuff of like, hey, you're doing too much. You're causing too much yep. chaos. We're sending you to this other base or whatever. Da, 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 da. So he basically gets called back in not to at least not initially to actually fly for this very dangerous mission but to teach a group of students so um it's it's like it's like i want to say maybe like 12 people that sounds about right two four six eight i, I think it might be maybe like a group of it may, may, maybe it was like a small i feel like it's somewhere between six to twelve people um yeah. of hey these people they are all best of the best who have graduated from this academy in the past, we need you to pick a few of them to go on this basically very dangerous mission to where there is this, uh, this bunker or there, there's this, there was this place, um, overseas that, um, there, there was like this underground pit, um, with like uranium. And so basically the mission entailed them flying, through this canyon, so to speak, uh-huh. at a certain altitude to where they couldn't go above a certain height because alongside all these mountain cliffs, or whatever, were um, missile drones. So if you if oh. they got if they got behind uh, above a certain height, it would trigger the drones and automatic rockets and all that stuff, whatever. So they oh. had to fly through this canyon within a certain time frame, go up and over this mountain peak, whatever. In, in, in waves to where uh, a wave one of a team would destroy the kind of like entrance to the underground bunker and then a second set of plans would come through and actually drop the missiles to go in and do it or whatever. So basically the, the point is just, hey, we have to go through this very dangerous environment and we have to do it in like under two and a half minutes. <laughs> so, but anywho. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, but my point is it was, it was, it was a very cool movie. Um, and, mm-hmm. and I'm glad I finally went to see it. Cause, cause like I said, like initially I was like, I have zero interest in watching that, but then hearing the hype and <laughs> yeah. so, uh, one of the, so I followed this, uh, YouTube channel or whatever called a uh, kind of funny. One of the guys on there after he watched it, he shaved his mustache to kind of fit like What's some of the name? pilots. What, baby? What's your name? Huh? What's your name? What's my name? <laughs> my name. I'm Dada. Good job. You're Dada. Why? I had that exact conversation Why, today. Dada? Vash. Yes? Can Dada record, please? Okay. Can you go play? Uh, no, no, not join me on the podcast. Go play, baby. <laughs> okay. That'll be done in a little bit, okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm asked that like three or four times a day, so I understand. I'm like, I'm like, what? Well, what do you mean? What is my name? Why are you asking me this at eleven o'clock at night, son? <laughs> he gave you the props too. Like, yeah, you got it. You got that exactly. right. Yeah. yeah see, <laughs> kids are wise. Like, oh, good job. I'm like, wait, what do you mean, good job? Thank you. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, main point is Top Gun Maverick was was a pretty dope movie. Um, I enjoyed it, um, and like I said, I'm I'm glad I got to go see it in yeah. theaters. Um, cause cause I was kind of looking at the, looking at the calendar, and I was like, cause cause I'm I'm gonna be going to see Thor and stuff when that comes out in a couple yeah. of weeks. But I was like I was like, oh yeah, Top Gun's already been out for a little while. Yeah. Let me see if I can figure out a time or whatever, and so. I just happened to go. I went last night. I asked my wife. I was like, I was like, hey, we got anything going on? Cool if I go see it. She was like, yeah, sure. So 
went went and watched it and uh and uh and enjoyed it so so yeah so go check out top gun and i think that might be it as far as stuff i wanted to touch kinda, on and cover it's kind of like uh it's not really realistic right like uh the cor- corporate would actually send in somebody who knew what they were doing to t <laughs> it's like yeah we don't like you but you're good at your job I'm like Nah, that's not, that's not what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this guy, we're gonna bring in the guy that says all the right things. <laughs> exactly, because like, because like, because like, day one of like the training, he holds up like the, uh, like the, uh, the manual, and he's like, "Hey, all of y'all know this, right? You've read it front to back." What? Everybody's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And he just drops it in the trash can, and he's like, "He's like, forget it," because the same way how you know it, the enemy probably also knows it as well. So. I was like, eh, yeah. good point, but uh, but yeah, but point is, <laughs> dope movie, um, uh, mm-hmm. and like I said, I think that might be it as far as stuff I wanted to touch on. Um, let me yeah. see, just browsing. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that's it. So we'll 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 go to uh to uh running. I guess did did you have anything else you wanted to touch on or whatever before we? Actually, I actually went through on? everything. I was like, wow. <laughs> So, awesome. No, I had a great time, then. Uh, I didn't expect this much time to go by. <laughs> I know, exactly. So, so, yeah, so with, with that being said, yeah, thank you to everybody for listening and watching another episode of Dad's Talk. Uh, shout out to Bo, a.k.a. Otaku and Training, for joining me today. Uh, That's a great, it was a blast being here. Yeah, man, yeah, I, I, I agree with you, man. Went it is always funny how, and I, and I know I've said this on the podcast many times, how I have those times where I'm like, ah, I don't have much to talk about, or hey, we're kind of winging it today, and then this is going to be one on, on on the higher end of uh, uh, run time for my episodes or whatever. So well, we definitely yeah. found found plenty to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, as always, thank you to everybody for listening and watching. Um, I will have um, all of Bo's stuff linked in the description below, his YouTube channel, socials, all that stuff. Um, did you have anything specific on the radar that you want people to be on the lookout for? Uh, just, I got a manga haul coming in the next few days. Uh, keep an eye out for it. And, uh, if you like it, I mean, hit, the, hit the subscribe button. Help me out. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, it's been really fun just doing every one of these. And every, with every one of these, I learned something new on either editing or scripting. It, it's it's really fun. And I think that's very important when, when you're making these videos, just to have fun with it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I might have to get some uh, some tips from you on the on the editing side because that that that's still something I haven't dabbled in much, if any, of with with most of yep. my stuff. Um, definitely something that I that I definitely do want to get to, um, you know. But that'd be something probably like, especially like once I get through this gauntlet, I'm about to go through uh, yes, with, with yes, life stuff, whatever. So. Um, but yeah, but yeah, y'all, y'all make sure y'all y'all go follow my my boy and show him some love and support. And uh, and as always, you can find me everywhere at Dad Needs to Talk. Same thing, uh, like I mentioned at the, at the top. If you haven't already, go check out my Blue Lock uh, manga review and be on the lookout for uh, for many more manga stuff uh, coming up because I, I I have one that I read um, like a month ago I've been sitting on that I think I might drop next Monday so uh, uh, it, it's going to be fun I'm, I'm very excited for, for y'all to hear about that but um, but like, like I said um, lots of dope stuff coming up um, like I said July we'll see how stuff kind of goes once we get into like the back half of the month but as yeah. always follow me on, on all my socials I'll keep y'all up to date uh and next week, next week's hot podcast episode. Actually, two things next week. So next Sunday, July third. I'm not 100 sure at the time. It'll for sure be at nighttime. So maybe, maybe around 8 p.m. Central Time. I'll be hosting a Twitter Space, and it is just for everybody in the community to just come up and share recommendations. So whether hey you have a dope manga, anime, regular TV show, video game whatever that you want to recommend to the community it's just going to be just a fun time where we all just come together and just share 
um, you know, stuff that we are that we are interested in. And so yeah. I'll record that. That will be recorded. Um, but I might not put that up until a little bit later in the month just because of how I have stuff scheduled out. Um, and then the pod, the actual podcast episode for next week will be my summer anime preview. So um, I'll put a post up so y'all can let me know what shows coming up in the summer season that y'all are excited about. Um, and I'll have a very dope guest joining me for that conversation as well. So with that being said, um, thank you all for listening and watching. And as I always say, treat yourself to something nice. Read some manga, watch some anime, play some video games, and live your best life. And with that, we'll catch y'all in the next one. Y'all be easy. Peace. Later.